Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Retiring Virus, and I can't believe this is real, but I heard about this the other day. Chad and JT did, uh, went to a public comment with the government here, wherever they're based out of, and uh, they said a few interesting things. Let's check it out. What up, council? I'm here to discuss artificial intelligence. AI is going to take all of our jobs and render us useless. Okay, so right here, first off, sorry to pause so soon, but he's not really wrong. Um, if Elon Musk and Tesla and uh, the Boston Logistics, they get their robots up and running, the things that we're going to see, like, we're going to see some James Cameron Terminator shit going on. Like, I don't know if they're going to come around and start kill <laughs> killing people, using them to whack people. But you're definitely going to see um all these people losing their jobs uh you're gonna have lots of homeless people um riots in the streets stuff like this you know what i mean so he's not wrong about that there does need to be some sort of plan in place i mean realistically let's see what he's got to say and i for one am stoked <laughs> i hate jobs i had I a job hate once jobs. and they everyone suck. there talked in weird voices i have one ai is gonna 86 all of that but but we'll still need money. <laughs> I love that he looks behind him because people are fucking pissing themselves laughing. <laughs> that is why I'm asking the government to step up and make sure we're breaded. We are proposing a small payment plan or small PP. <laughs> small PP? Oh, I guarantee you he put that in there on purpose. A small PP. Of 10 G a month. Oh, 10 G a month, man. Yes, please. I'll take it. For every citizen... So we can party and look hot and enjoy our free time. <laughs> now, we can't afford guy in the back to is just sit not back it. and have AI bust through a smile, and not have a plan. We got to make sure people have food and houses so we can party and rage in peace. I agree. There does need to be a plan. Uh, definitely food and houses, number one, 100%. And if everything's automated, just like 90% of it is, well... Maybe not 90%, but at least a good 30% of factories at least are all automated where they used to have 30 to 40 workers in each of these factories. Now they're down to 5, 10, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Like I used to work at Walmart and I worked the night shift and we used to have 97 workers each night. 97. And by the time I left five years later, we were down to 35 on nights. And we were still getting the exact same amount of stock. So that right there just tells you it's kind of crazy. So instruct AI to pay all of us. And then you dudes can retire gracefully before <laughs> you get replaced. And we'll see you at the beach. The bonfires will be epic. Everybody will be hot. <laughs> Martin Luther King. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I love when he just says Martin Luther King as if that's it. <laughs> An ending to an argument or something where it just, it's okay for everything you just said. Martin Luther King, yes! That just made everything I said perfect and amazing and unbelievable. <laughs> Anyways, this was Chad and JT. Um, go give them a sub, give them a like. And if you like this video, please let me know in the comments if you want to see more like this. Um, yeah, give her a like, sub, and uh, you guys all have a good day.